The Packers have played their four quarters. Now it's time for the fifth quarter. Got to meet this guy when he was signed by the Packers and came on board to join a, uh, a very uh, interesting and experienced group of tight ends. Well, with Jimmy Graham, Lance Kendricks returning. And this guy, who's in his 13th season, a former number one draft choice out of UCLA, was taken by the Jacksonville Jaguars, where he spent his first 12 seasons. His best year, 2010, with 58 catches. That was a pretty good year up here, as I remember, as well. Uh, but he comes over to the pack and uh, a friend of mine on the NFL Network, Stacy Dale, said uh, to me this summer when we were talking, you got to get Mercedes on your show. He is one of the best guys in the league, one of the great locker room guys of all time. So I said, I'll take you up on that, Stacy. And so uh, we got together, hooked him up, and uh, I'm glad he's here. And I'd like you to give a big stadium view in Green Bay. Welcome to Mercedes Lewis, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming over, Mercedes. I appreciate it. Thank you. How's uh, life in Mark, the... Mark, you put a lot of pressure on him with what? that introduction. No. Yeah, I like that. that Stacy nice. loves you, man. <laughs> he, she loves you. What, what other teams were interested in your services outside of Green Bay, when? Um, so, you know, after my 12th year in Jacksonville, uh, it was kind of a raw deal. You know, they picked up... I had one more year on my contract there. Uh, my dream was to, you know, finish out as a Jag. Um, you know, it was times where... You know, there were opportunities for me to be traded, um, you know, when we weren't doing so well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I chose to stay there. And then after my 10th year in Jacksonville, uh, we were starting, like, our, the rebuilding process. I felt like we were rebuilding, like, every three years. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was always finger pointing, coaching changes. I mean, I've had five head coaches, two owners, two GMs, so I didn't seen it all. Wow. And uh, I was the only guy standing every single year. To go back to your question, um, you know, all the L.A. teams, yeah. uh, Chargers, Rams, uh, the Bay teams, the Raiders, uh, 49ers, uh, Miami called, the Giants. I had, I had about like eight teams um, calling me every day. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Let us know. Like, what are you going to do? And then Green Bay called like five days in a row. <laughs> and so, you know, I, you know, my agent. They was turn like, into a stalker all of a yeah, sudden. Yeah, well, you know, this is a new GM up here, Brian. Uh, you know, what Brian do you think Mercedes is, is doing eager, now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so Green, Green Bay call like every day, like nonstop, yeah. around the clock. And then, you know, my agent was like, "Hey, maybe you should just, you know, fly out there and see, you know, see if you like it." So I flew out here. Uh, I flew out here one day. Met the tight end coach, had dinner, went to bed, woke up, went to the facility, met everybody. And then it started getting weird because I felt like they were like introducing me to like everybody in the building. And I'm like, like what's going on? I thought I was just coming on a trip, you know? Hey, this is the family. Like it was yeah. it was like a real thing. You know? And uh after my visit was done, my flight was set to leave at like five forty five PM and Goody, the, the GM, was like, hey, is it okay if we call your agent? I'm like, yeah, you guys been talking this whole time. Like, I don't mind. He was like, no, like, like we, we want to sign you. Like, we, we're not going to let you leave in, until we, like. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, just go ahead and hit him up. And, like, literally, you know, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, like, contracts, but those don't take an hour to do. You yeah. know what I mean? And so, you know, we kind of put out, you know, put the terms that we wanted. Nobody's trying to break the bank, but just be compensated for the skill set. Right. And, you know, they got it done. They, they treated me well. Um, I literally signed at like 5 o'clock, and my flight left at like 5.45. <laughs> so Another like, nice thing about Green Bay. Airport's quick. Yeah, right, so right. I signed, <laughs> yeah. walked through security, and flew out. And Get was, out, and you're a Packer. Yeah, I was here to finish up OTAs, and... That's what that's what the story is. <laughs> that's a pretty good story. 